Hello guys, welcome to another time out with me on Alec GTV. My name is Alec Godwin, and it's another exciting episode. And today we are talking about Umbaku, King of Wakanda. All right, now before we get into that, two things we got to do. One, if you're new to this channel, you need to subscribe right now. I mean, I'll be grateful if you do subscribe to this channel. We do reviews on music, movies, and more. Pretty much everything exciting, everything you probably will love. So um, subscribe, click the subscribe button, and then on the side of it, you want to click the notification button as well because even though you are sub subscribed, you will not know when we drop a new video. Thank you. And now that out of the way, the second thing, watch the commercial before we get on. All right, that was just a joke. That was my intro. Today, we're talking about Mbaku as king of Wakanda. And I'm, I really don't think I need to explain further. Do I need to explain further? Don't you already figure it out? Like, if you have seen Infinity War and you know that T'Challa, the king of Wakanda, disappeared or was wiped out from existence now, what do you think will happen to the leadership of Wakanda? Once again, my prediction. Umbaku becomes king of Wakanda. And if you ask me why, hello, the mother already was ready to hand over when they thought their son had died. You remember? The mother was ready to give him the fruit or the flower with the Black Panther power on it. And then he offered their son like he's here with me. So if in his absence, once again, Umbaku takes the leadership as king of Wakanda. Now, this may play out in two ways. We know that Black Panther, T'Challa, will come back they will find a way to change time and he will come back but i see this going somewhere else when he comes back the people might not be willing to allow him as president anymore or as king because i mean i would expect that uh, uh reactions internal reactions will come out like you your leadership has been nothing but trouble. So um, they might, they might want him off the throne. That's that's one way it could play out. And then he, go, he has to fight for his throne or fight for his people's trust again. And um, just like Okoye said, when you said we are going to open Wakanda to the rest of the world, this is not what I imagined. These are probably these are predictions that could play out on Black Panther too. So I see um, a lot of. Uh, internal struggles again for T'Challa, uh, even though a lot of us, including me, agree to his steps and his decisions, it doesn't always play out well in terms of the other people. You know, there's always a party to things, like the Democrats and the Republicans, they are always views, so there's always going to be a, an opposition to his rule. And that's how I think Black Panther 2 will play out. Now, the other side of the coin is that it's possible that Black um, T'Challa could come back from his disappearance and, and then decide, okay, you know what, Mbaku, you be king of Wakanda while I just stay on as the Black Panther, you know? I know a lot of people have been like, you know, I, 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 um, Mbaku should have more appearances, probably play the role of a villain now. If he plays the role of a villain, he probably will die. And if you love the character, you don't want him to go. I think he will be king, but it might be for a short duration of time. Maybe weeks, maybe months, maybe a year before T'Challa comes back again and sit on his throne and they accept, you know, hand over peacefully and nothing happens. That is one side of the coin, but the other side is that Mbaku refuses to, to leave the throne or the people don't want T'Challa. And then they protest, like, keep Mbaku on the throne, something like that, you know? 
So, but either way, Black Panther 2 is not going to be funny in terms of, you know, what goes on internal struggle. I expect, even if it doesn't go in this way, I expect a reaction from the fact that he brought people, he brought attack on, you know, it's not like he brought the attack, but they could see it wrongly. Today we don't fight for one life. We fight for all of them. You know, we watching, we know that he did the right move, but the people internally will probably think, hey, your father did this the other way and we never had trouble until you came in. So let me know what you think. Let me know what you what's your take on this matter. Do you think um, Mbaku will become king? Uh, do you think Black Panther should let him be? Do you think that he becomes a villain in Black Panther 2? Let's know your comment. We'll be glad to, you know, just share opinions. Um, thank you for watching. Um, I didn't want this to be a long video, but two things I'm excited about. One, my short movie coming on. Um, I just edited, or I'm still editing, almost done with the editing. Color correction will be next, and then there will be audio mix and um, um, soundtracking. Please watch out for the movie. Keep Hit this uh, notification button so you know when it drops. I will need you to share when that time comes. I mean, share, share, share. Thank you for watching. Keep looking at the description below for links and, you know, uh, updates and stuff like that. Um, my gears. Um, oh, yeah, this is one thing I'm excited about that I just got um, that was sent to me for review. And I did review. Um, you'll see the link above here um, for the review if you want to see. It's just a pretty handy thing that you can hold light, camera, and a lot more gears, even in the car. Uh, that I wish I should have, and you know, I wish I got it in time, I would have used it for my short movie, but they just sent it to me, and um, and I think it's pretty handy. Right now, I'm using it to hold on to my microphone, which could have been a long way off on the camera there, but right now, it's closer to me, thanks to the Fantasy Magic Arm. So, um, keep looking at the description. My gears and all that are in there. You could go to Amazon and, and get any of the products. That way you'll be supporting this channel, actually, because we get a commission for what you, whatever thing you buy from our links. And, uh, of course, it's the same amount if you don't use our link. So, you know, it's a win-win. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>